All right, everybody, this is question and answer part, part seven. Is it six or seven? No, I think six was when my dad was here. Really? I think so. Okay. Question and answer part seven. Okay. <laughs> now that we've got that <laughs> taken care of. Okay, so I went through and I found lots and lots of questions. So we want to get right into it? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, from Wicked I See. What place is this? Oh, this was when we went to the Indian restaurant. What place is this? Do you live in Colorado? Does Ed ever come to Denver to see you? I live in Denver and watch all Ed's oh. videos and would be cool to see him film a prank here in Denver. Oh, like you live in Denver and you don't even want to meet me. You know what's funny? Like, you live here but you don't want to meet me. Okay, moving on. It's India's best. <laughs> <laughs> Little jealous. Little jelly. Um, one of our favorites. They deliver also. We love to do that. It's like kind of like we'll do like order an Indian food and like watch Vampire Diaries or like we know what I mean. Like those cold nights we love. Mm -hmm. here. Oh yeah. Um, Eddie it doesn't even have to be cold. Yeah, Eddie <laughs> has only come out to see me once. I'm a little upset at Eddie for that. But I get home a lot more. It's really hard for my brother to come out because he's worked so much in LA as it is, and he's away from home so much, and he's got three kids, you know, so. That's a challenge, and I get back like I'm. I go back every Christmas for two weeks. Then. It's from J O Rear Naked Choke. Deadly vid. Loved all the weird fruits. You should do a new vid and tell us what they tasted like. And I have a question. It's kind of deep and heavy, but I'd love to know because of a family member. When you dream and then wake up, the second you wake up, do you wish your sight was back, or are you just happy that you had a dream? If you don't mind me asking you that question, from James Island. Oh. Smiley face. So mine's at all, huh? Fun. Okay, first of all, most of that food, like, the weird produce was super nasty. Like, um, I had these, I got these durian cookies while I was there, and they were so foul, and they stunk really, really bad. I can't so, believe that they would put durian in cookies. Yeah, in these wafer cookies, did you know what I did? What? what I did was, I opened them up, they stunk so bad, so I stuck them in a Ziploc bag to hide the smell, and then I was going around and telling people, like, hey, do you want to try one of my new cookies? And they would open <laughs> up the bag, and they're like... Ooh. What are these? That's horrible. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, you're evil. I know. I'm such a prankster at work. It's so fun. Um, but the dream thing, like, I don't wake up and no, like, I've had weird these weird feelings. Like, I'll wake up, like, and forget that I was went blind for a second, and I'm like, what's wrong with my eye? Like, it's super strange. It's like an instant. I'm like, why can't I see right? And then I'm like, oh right, duh. But I don't have this feeling like, oh, I wish my sight was back. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't really get that. This is from Elmo's Midlap. How do you give the guys the snake eye for staring at your chest slash cleavage? You're blind and you don't know that you're lusted at. If it was me, if it was not me, but some guy that is a pervert, he would try to be your innocent guy friend and buy you short cut blouses or button shirts with the top button missing and give them to you as gifts. Because you are blind, you would not know your blouse is missing a button and assume it was buttoned to the top. Then I, oops, he would walk you around the beach and stuff and look down your blouse. All I want and you would never know. So ridiculous so totally absurd like I know how to button my shirts and know <laughs> if there's a button missing because like you can feel the little hole where the button's supposed to go and then all of a sudden hey there's no button over on the other side and then you can also I mean how can you not tell that your shirt isn't buttoned up all the way when you can touch your chest you know what I yeah mean? <laughs> that's bizarre and I wouldn't have a guy be buying me shirts anyway because they don't even know my style and I like my own style. Yeah, you'd be saying it's cute and then put it in your closet and never wear it. I would be asking for the receipt for just in case like it tear or tore or something. I'd go take it back. And, <laughs> like, and it would tear. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. No, that would happen. All right. Just want you to make sure. Thanks. Well, I mean, not me, obviously. <laughs> All right, 300 Tank. I have been checking out a cool app that was designed for the blind as well as non-blind, but anything you touch or feel, snap a picture with iPhone, no matter what the object is, it will tell you what it is, including brand, color, even people pots. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, like being the top, it's a finger? Yeah, we'll go with finger. 
It is amazing. You got every item, right? Even a flower. I did not know anything about. I love this app. You should try it in the app store. It's called Tap Tap C. Yeah, I actually have. I don't have Tap Tap C, but I have a lot of friends with Tap Tap C. So I have heard of it, and it does work really well. Cool. I've heard of people like identifying their toes and stuff like. Yeah, people pets. That <laughs> would be probably a qualify. <laughs> Um, oh, this is um, that video where you made the awesome table. Um, does the Oh, this is from Jessica January. Does the school ever have the students make things to sell? I'm sure it'd be a great way to raise money for programs and supplies. Um, we actually do an annual fundraiser every year. Um, and we do have some shop, shop projects that are up for auction. All right, Candace Johnston actually commented on this one, said you didn't show how blind people use table saws or how you measure. Of course, it's not dangerous painting, LOL, but cute table. Okay, so clearly, like, I did those cuts, you know, and we realize it's not dangerous painting, but it's also, painting is also something you that You say that. Know. We could probably find someone. I know, right? But, <laughs> but also, too, like, people don't think that blind people can paint either. Like, and I did all the stenciling on the side of it and stuff, too. But I couldn't show, like, every little piece by the time that I got, I just had done all the cuts, you know, and then I thought to make the video, actually, is what happened. But don't worry, I will have a video with cutting and measuring. Hello. All right, so that ends question and answer part seven. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment box. And also, if you needed to message me, you know, you can find me on Facebook, Morning Bass Master. And you can also send me an email at Morning Bass Master, um, Morning at Bass Master at gmail. gmail.com. And honestly, like, for longer things, like, if you put a comment on there, like, I often don't always, like, respond as much to the comments. I read the comments. But, like, then I have to go on, like, and be on Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, and let it log on and everything where I'm checking my email constantly. So, like, if you had a really serious, like, like really question they need to answer me or something, it's so great to contact me or message me on Facebook or email. Cool. Thanks. See you guys. Bye.